Alrighty, thought I'd just do a quick video on how to install Windows XP on an L512 Lenovo ThinkPad. It's seeming to be not as bloody easy as I thought it'd be, but come on the journey with me and I'll show you guys how to do it. Cheers. So, gonna boot her, boot her up. mode f1 okay it's not even all right all right all right i got an idea now so yep yeah. turn her off turn her back on spam the think vantage button yep all right we'll go f1 and let's go to security yes this is the problem what I'm saying in the bar setup, uh, repeatedly uh, navigate to boot, uh, use our case, move to the boot tab. Guys, there isn't even a boot tab. See, this is the problem I'm getting now. <clears throat> so I figured it out. Alrighty, so I figured it out. Um, so this is a newer BIOS update of this ThinkPad. So Think Finish button, get around the BIOS. F1, then we're gonna to go to security, and we go to security chip disabled. So it'll be active, go disabled, and we'll go back as well. I also checked, I unchecked memory protection. So I assume that has something to do with secure boot and not. Um, I don't think I, changed anything else um yeah so even the boot screen is different um so what i'll do just make sure that we go start up boot i want to go i want to go wrong yeah, so it'll be coming in so yeah with this particular cpu um there doesn't even seem to be a secure boot option it's more the way that it's worded so Let's go save those settings. I've got my genuine Windows XP disk in here right now. And bada bing, bada boom. We should get a Windows XP prompt once she boots up. Yep. So, cool. Oh, yeah. Take two. Got to be quick with these fucking things, eh? I don't want your bloody... Loading old software on me. So, as soon as we get the boot screen, booting from CD, available, yep, we're gonna hit it. And, you should get Windows XP. Yes. Yep. Cool. Step one, achieved. It's gonna take a while. Because we're booting from a OG Windows XP disk, but uh, we'll report back when uh, the drive is loaded. <sighs> Would it be a Windows XP installation without this screen? Yeah, fucking. All right, let's give it another crack. I'm sure it'll work this time. You know what I might do? Nah, I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna clean the disk. I'm gonna clean the disk. Have a gauge of this, ladies and gents. Genuine Windows XP CD. <laughs> Woo! Bleh! Woo so, take two. Just cleaned. Let's see how we go here. I still don't know if there's other options I need to disable. Um, but yeah, let's go for it. So I did some research into the error that was coming up on Windows XP and it looked like it was a disk accessing problem. So what I kind of realized was I might have to go back into the BIOS and reset some things. So I've gone through and gone to the SATA mode. I've just gone to compatibility mode from AHCI. I've also gone through the memory section, no. Um, I've also gone through the security section and turned off 
um, Computrace. So let's give it another crack and see how we go. So this is kind of where it gets to. It starts loading the FAT32 system. So, standard installation. Okay, you know how it be. Yeah, I agree, brother. Yeah, pain, I agree. All right, all right, all right. Uh, so, we're going to go... I'm going to go the 89 gigabytes. You know what? I'm gonna do the long version. Wipe that file system clean, baby. F. <laughs> so, yep, starting again because uh, the computer ran out of battery. So, yep, F8, I agree. The reason I'm just gonna do a fresh install is just, yeah, eliminating possible problems. I'm not going to do a, a quick format. I'll just do a, a full format. Bada bing, bada boom. Let's go. I'll report back because this takes ages. Anyone who's installed Windows XP knows this takes fucking ages. Okay, the formatting doesn't take that long, but the installation takes ages, man. All right, so, yep, because we're on a full... Uh, format, I'll have to restart it. Not sure how it's going to go with the CD, but we'll see. What I'll do is, it shouldn't boot off the disk unless I hit a prompt. So, it should boot onto the disk, the hard disk. Give her a crack for a sec. I'm going to skip this screen. Oh, no. That's not good. Okay. Uh, let's give it another crack. All right. So, I'll boot it up again. But I'm going to go boot. I'm going to boot into the CD. It's the only thing I can think about right now. Unless I delete the MBR or something. But give it a crack. Wait till she starts loading. Alright, so I ended up going with the quick NTFS option so it doesn't restart. Um, I don't know, yeah, what to do if you've got a Windows XP thing and you want to do a full kind of um, fresh install basically. But I've done the quick one and it seems to be copying files, so happy days. We're there. We're, <laughs> I say we're there, but anything can happen really. So report back ASAP. Bada bing, bada boom. Restart. So yeah, once again, I'll just not do anything. It'll skip past the CD. Hopefully we'll get a Windows XP installation screen. <laughs> yeah, boy! Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Let's go. Right. Let's go, Windows XP laptop in 2025. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, that's sick. This literally works perfect. 
<laughs> That's crazy. Oh, I love, I love that name. Tell me, B. Organization. T. B. C. Studios. Oh, this is only installation part one. I want to be bloody calling up a number and getting the numbers off this fucking thing. So, yeah, hang in there. But, yeah, let's go. Ooh. 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 That's something I'm going to find. I've got to find the product key. Mmm. So I balked up actually, and I lost the bloody OEM installation key. So I uh, just went on the old Google, just went to archive.org and just. Yes, we are back in business. Let's go. First boot. Ooh. 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 Oh, I can't believe how well that works. It's crazy. Backwards compatibility, brother. Like I'm back in 2003, man. All right, boom. Yeah, help, help protect me. Yeah. Yes. My name Tommy B. Okay, there's no audio driver installed, otherwise you would have heard that sick startup sound, but there you go. Head and install Windows XP on whatever this is. 35L53L512. Let's go. 